Today we're going to start uh, working on a sample project, uh, just like uh, the one that I've made here for you to look at. So the first thing we're going to do is get our samples from the shared drive. To do that, go over to the picture with the three happy people, Keeling, go to Shared, Students, Eisler, and here I have a bunch of loops for you to work with, all these loop packs. If you open up a loop pack, you'll see there's a ton of loops in there to choose from. If you hit this fourth square over, it will pull that up in this window here, and you can listen to them. So I select one of them, and I can see if I want to use it or not. All right, I can take a listen to another one, see if I want to use that one or not. Okay, and if I want to use it, I click it and drag it and drop it into one of my audio tracks. All right, you might split your screen and have half of this here and half of this here. I've got a bunch of audio tracks here. If ever I need more audio tracks, I can go up top to create, create, and insert audio track, and that will make a new audio track for me to drop things into. All right. Once I've got a bunch of loops put in here, then I'm going to start to arrange them. I'm going to start to move them around, put them where I want them to be. I can click on it and hit Command C. Command C is copy and Command V is paste. Command V for victory is paste. I can delete things. If I forget these uh, uh, commands, I can always go to edit and you can see copy is command C, paste is command V. All right. Uh, another thing I can do is I can get in the middle of one of them and do command E and that makes a split and that will split it right there. So command E is split. Okay, so I'm going to work on this drum track right here a little bit. I go up top and get the magnifying glass and zoom in. And I'm going to work on this drum track right here. I uh, find the split between this track and that track, and I can make this drum track bigger. I'd like to make it match up with this vocal that's going to be happening right here. So I'm going to uh, loop it over and over so I can listen to it for a little bit. I'm going to grab a section of the time and hit Command L. Command L for loop. Command L for loop and now it will play it over and over while I work on it. Okay, so what I want to do is split this drum track and start to actually build with the drum pieces that are in the loop. And I saw a piece over here that I wanted, Command E, Command E. And then if I click on the colored part, it, it knows that I'm talking about that. I'm going to Command C, copy that part, copy that part, and then Command V, paste it. And I'm going to paste it here. 
I think that's going to be nice. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, yeah. And then I could uh, I could make a build up or something with that. I could command uh, C, copy it. I could duplicate it. Uh, paste it first and then command D for duplicate. Duplicate it. I'm going to solo this track. Uh, for just a little bit. I think I want it, and then I can uh, Command C, copy it. V. Now I'm going to shorten this and duplicate this. Oh, nice. I'll do it one more time. I'm going to zoom in and get it even smaller and duplicate that. I think I've made myself a nice build up here. See what that sounds like. Nice. Uh, play. Oh, let's do one more measure to go into this next one. Duplicate this. Uh, Command C, copy. Command V. Paste, Command C, copy, Command V, paste. Oh, I was pushing the wrong. Command C, copy, duplicate. Get it even smaller. I was going to do dig it, dig it, dig it out. Even smaller, and then it will end when my new things come in right there. All right, let's check that out. Take it from the beginning right here. All right. Okay, guys. So you can see uh, I've used a lot of the envelopes. Uh, I'm, I'm chopping things up with uh, Command E, split, Command C, copy, Command V, paste. Uh, I can move things around if I click on the green bar and move things around. I can delete things, um, duplicate things with Command D for duplicate. Okay, have fun.